let's take a look at Smart Defrag. Now this has a fairly good rating, almost uh, five stars. I'll leave a link for this below in the show notes, but let's go ahead and take a look at the actual software itself. Okay, so we have this defrag, boot time, defrag, game optimize. Please add your game for optimization to get better gaming experience. I will not be doing that. And the action center. It looks like we have extra software to install if you want to. Spyware protection, program uninstaller, driver updater, iTop VPN, smart game booster, system performance, iPhone manager, opera browser, web companion, password manager, iTop screen recorder. I'm not sure if all of these are all free or free trials, but I'm going to skip this for now. We'll go to disk defrag. The top left here, we have settings, report, disk, health, skin. Looks like uh, dark or light, user manual, technical support, translate, feedback, check for updates, more iobit products, and about. All right, so we have uh, the hard disk drive. This actually has the original hard disk drive on my Dell. Windows apps and added files and folders. I think what we'll do here, we have analyze, fast defrag, defrag and optimize, large file, free space, defrag and prioritize, which it says slow. I'm going to click smart defrag. This shouldn't take long because I, I usually keep my uh, hard disk drive pretty well uh, tuned up. So let's click that. All right, this is moving along at a pretty good clip. And like I said, I usually keep my system fairly well uh, defragmented. Of course, if you have an SSD, you really should not be doing this. So let's see what we have here. Okay, so far, so good. We can pause if we want to. What's here? This is... Ah, secure your internet with fast and free VPN. I think I will skip that. Lucky draw. Let's click that. Congrats, you get one chance for a lucky draw. I guess uh, you can pick one of these. Try your luck. All right, so you can get one of these at a substantial discount. I will not be doing that. I like the interface. I have been using OsLogix. Uh, nothing wrong with that one. I just wanted to try this one. Okay, now it just went up. It went from 30 seconds up to 40 seconds. What I've noticed with these, that the estimated remaining time is not always accurate. It's it, it's fairly close, but yeah, it's not always accurate. So, and now it jumped up to 50 seconds, 40 seconds. Now it went up to over a minute. <laughs> okay, well, it's definitely not accurate. Uh, but it does appear to work. So, uh, and after running this uh, earlier, my system did feel, uh, my Windows 10 did feel a little bit faster. So it definitely does work. So now we're up to <laughs> over a minute still, under a minute here at the bottom left. <laughs> okay. For the most part, this works the way it should. Honestly, I haven't really noticed that much difference between the, the top defragmenters, you know, whether it's this smart defrag, this is a 7.1 or OsLogix. They all work fairly well. Uh, I'm not sure if this one's any better, but um, after defragmenting using this, my Windows 10 did feel faster. So it does work. Keep in mind that Windows 10 has its own built-in defragger. Again, if you have an SSD, this is really not necessary. But if you have the old-fashioned hard disk drive, yes, you should occasionally defragment your hard disk drive. And you can set these uh, the software to do it automatically, usually. All right, well, that's all I have for this one. If you use something like this, let me know how it works out for you.